Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for the WWE draft. Today, both Donald Trump and Joe Biden will be drafting 10 WWE superstars. And at the end, it's up to you, the people of America, to decide who has the better roster. I'm going to say before we get started, Joe, you don't stand a chance. My roster will knock you out and put you to sleep. Yeah, talk it up, Donald. My roster will be full of stars and it will shine brighter than your hair color. Boys, sorry to interrupt, but the time has come to begin. I have flipped a coin with Joe being heads and Donald being tails. I flipped it two out of three times because YOLO. Anyways, thanks to Abe on the penny. Joe, you will be getting the number one draft pick. Thank you, Barack, and thank you, Lincoln. Anyways, for the first draft pick, I will be selecting the EST of WWE. I'm selecting Bianca Belair. Nice pick, Joe, but there is a mistake you just made. You see, you failed to take the biggest star in all of the WWE, so I will be taking him right now. Ladies and gentlemen, get ready to acknowledge this pick. I select Roman Reigns. It's okay. I want talent on my show. All right, for my second pick in the draft, I select the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. You see, that's where you're wrong. Cody lost at WrestleMania to my number one pick, so you can take that chump. My second pick in the draft will be Rhea Ripley. Sorry to interrupt, but I forgot to mention that tag teams do not count in this draft because I make the rules. In that case, my third pick in the draft will be Kevin Owens, and I will be taking Sami Zayn in the fourth round. I'm reserving him. Sorry, Joe, that's not how it works. For my third pick, I select Sami Zayn. Well, ain't that some bullshit? Okay, instead, my fourth pick in the draft is Seth freaking Rollins. Sing his damn song. My fourth pick is the Beast. I pick Brock Lesnar. Solid choice, I think. I think I've already won this draft. You have not won this draft because my fifth draft pick is a rising star from NXT. I select Roxanne Perez. Wow, I also have an NXT talent as my fifth pick. I select someone better. I select Carmelo Hayes. All right, boys, we have five rounds left. Make these picks count. Okay, in the sixth round, I select Austin Theory. Nice pick, but my pick will top it. My sixth round selection goes to CM Punk. Whoa, 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 what's this? You can't pick him. He's not in the WWE. I mean, he is a wrestler, so it counts. Bruh, fine. My seventh round pick belongs to Chad Gable. He's such a natural in the ring. Who wastes their seventh pick on Chad Gable? Like, really, do you want to lose this draft? My seventh pick, I'm going with Brett the Hitman Hart. Okay, come on now. He's retired and can't even take a bump. Brett was part of the WWE, so it's a legit pick. That's fine, I guess. Okay, my eighth pick is someone who is underrated. I picked Dana Brooke. Come on, WWE. Give her a push to the moon and don't look back. Damn, that's a hard pick to top. Hmm. Oh, okay, watch this. My eighth pick in the WWE draft is Kyle Busch. All right, this is getting ridiculous. Kyle Busch is literally a NASCAR driver and former NASCAR champion. He literally won a race last weekend at Talladega. Okay, so technically Kyle Busch is a former champion of the WWE as he is a former 24-7 champion. And he did once host an episode of Monday Night Raw. You have to be kidding me with this crap. Okay, you know what? My ninth pick in the draft is Morgan Freeman. Joe, what the f***? What the f***? How dumb are you, Joe? Because of that stupid pick, Joe, you will be officially skipped this round. But I, he, Donald, picked. Joe, shut up. It's not your turn anymore. Donald, please proceed. All right. Thanks, Obama. For my ninth pick, I select Mr. Beast. Okay, what kind of crap is this? No way you can't pick him. I'll allow it. What? You got to be joking me. This whole thing is dumb. Joe, please pick your final and tenth draft pick. Can I at least pick a team now to make up for the last round? Okay, fine. I picked the Usos, such a clutch pick. We the ones, baby. My final pick is David Hasselhoff. You can't. Nice, solid final pick, Donald. What an amazing roster. You the man. Thanks, Barack. Oh, to hell with this. All right, everyone watching this video, make sure to comment who had the better roster. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, share, and smile. All right, boys, you guys ready to play some 2K? Yes, I've been training all week. Well, I'm the undertaker, so I wish you all good luck. You can be the Undertaker all you want, but we know what happens when he faces the Beast. Joe, why are you Titus? Titus Worldwide Donald. This match is going to be a piece of cake. Donald, why are you always thinking of food? Here comes trouble. Why are you two teaming up? Joe, no one is teaming up. We just started. Oh, f Really, Barack? We just started and you're trying to steal one? Cowabunga, dude. Suplex City. Donald, can you quit swearing? Kids, watch this. Joe, I'm going to put you in the crowd. No, stop. You ain't f***ing bad. Donald, stop, please. Barack, do you want to fight about it? Here I am. Joe, could you not get in the way? Rock you like a hurricane. Guys, did you know Worldwide was going to be one of my campaign slogans because of Titus Worldwide? Joe, shut up, you mark. 
Sit down, Obama. Here we go, choke slam. Whoa. I'm a freaking choo-choo train running you over. Don't mind me redecorating like I did to the White House after Barack left. That explains the trash I found when I took over. I mean, that should be my house still, but whatever. Donald, I won fair and square. That's the last thing you're going to win. Donald, what are you doing? A five. I'm untouchable. Oh, sh Tombstone, tombstone, that's what we need. It's over, Donald. You may rest in peace. Damn it. Not today. All right, I'm pulling out all the stops now. Oh, man, he'd be flying. Is that what you think? Just accept the fact that I'm your daddy. Cowabunga, dude. Joe, get that cowabunga junk out of my ring. I own this yard. Is that so, Barack? Whose yard is it? It's mine. Joe, don't you dare. See you, witch. No, 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 no. It's my yard, fellas. Yes. Damn it. You gotta be kidding me. How did we let this happen? Barack, you got pinned. Screw this game. I'm gonna go play that AEW game. That game is never coming out. I'm the winner. I'm the GOAT. The only thing to do now is acknowledge me, Donald. That was a cheap victory, and you know it. A win is a win. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the second ever WWE Draft featuring your favorite pair in history of YouTube videos. Please welcome Mr. Donald Trump and Mr. Joe Biden. Hello, my adoring fans. Today I will be winning the draft for the second time in a row. Actually, I believe I won the first draft, and for the proof, you all go watch the first draft. And before we get started, Barack, you need to lay the ground rules so there isn't any controversy. My mistake, Joe. Here's the rules. Both of you will be drafting roster of 10 WWE superstars. Eligible picks include NXT superstars, any legend, or someone I allow since I make the rules. Wait, what? Okay, now with that out of the way, Donald, you have the first pick since Joe chose first last time. Reminder, this is a redraft, so anyone picked last time can be picked again. Also, sorry, I forgot to mention tag teams aren't allowed. You must pick superstars individually. Okay, well, I already have my first pick, and it's a no-brainer. I choose Hulk Hogan, brother. This man chose someone who can't wrestle anymore. My first pick is Cody Rhodes. The American Nightmare didn't finish the story yet, but he will in due time. Don't hate my pick, Joe. I heard Hogan wanted to have one more match, and why not? He faced my second pick next year at WrestleMania, ladies and gentlemen. My second pick is Logan Paul. Solid pick. I would love to see this match. Everyone tag Logan Paul's social media with this idea. Hogan takes his vitamins and Logan drinks his prime, the ultimate match for next year. I actually love that idea, but anyways, my second pick is Rhea Ripley. She's the current SmackDown champion, and she'll be the champion for a while as WWE keeps giving her easy opponents. Facts, all right. So my third pick will shock you all, ladies and gentlemen. I choose the wise man. I choose Paul Heyman. This man really chose Paul Heyman, an inactive wrestler. Anyways, I choose Jimmy USO as my third pick. Joe, it's pronounced ooh, so, and by the way, despite being a manager, Paul Heyman once defeated CM Punk. Speaking of that, my fourth pick is Festus. Who did you just pick? I said Festus, I didn't stutter. This man is really trying to lose this draft. Well, since you didn't pick him up, my fourth pick is Jay Ooh, so. I gotta agree with Joe, Donald, you're really blowing this draft. It's called a game plan, you nerds. Speaking of nerds, my fifth draft pick is Chad Gable. Donald, you literally called me out for picking Chad Gable in the last draft. Well, in that case, I'm pick Otis with Maxine Dupree. You literally can't pick two people. Did you even listen to the rules? Joe, come on, I give you compliments and then you go and break the rules. Because of this, I will be allowing Donald to pick someone from you draft list to trade with someone on his. What, you can't do this to me, Dad. I will be trading Festus for Rhea Ripley. Thank you very much. You gotta be kidding me. I forget what number we're even on now. It's the fifth round. Damn, well, okay, I guess I pick Otis like I said. I don't get why I can't pick managers as an add-on pack. Joe, what do you mean add-on pack? This is not a video game. This is real life. Well, actually, this is a voice AI thing where Nick Sick types what we My say. My sixth pick in the draft is The Miz. This man is awesome, and he has won so many titles, I lose count back in 2011. Ah, uh, 2011, good times. I was still the president. And it's my turn, Barack. My sixth pick is the man who single-handedly changed the course of American history. I choose John Cena. Picks the invisible man nice. Okay, my seventh pick is Abraham Lincoln. And before you complain like a troll, Joe, there was reported rumors that Lincoln used to scrap back in the 60s or whenever he was alive. Fair enough, Donald, but my seventh pick will change everything. I'm choosing the current intercontinental champion. I'm picking Gunther with Imperium. 
Joe, what is wrong with your noggin? I said you can only choose one person at a time. Donald, go ahead and swap with someone again from Joe's roster. Okay, I will be switching Chad Gable with John Cena. Oh, come on. This isn't fair. I still pick Gunther in the seventh round. Maybe you should follow the rules, Jack, all right? In the eighth round, I will be selecting the Viper Randy Orton. Solid choice, but you ain't stealing the win from me this time because I select Ronda Rousey. Donald, do you forget that women are eligible to be picked? Joe, you have memory loss. I literally have Rhea Ripley on my list. Oh, that's right. I forgot because I thought she was on my list until this so-called host, Barack Obama, started changing the rules. Joe, I didn't change any rules. You just failed to follow them. In my ninth pick, I select Seth freaking Rollins. In my ninth pick, I select Shaq because he once was in the WrestleMania Battle Royal thing. All right, boys, it has come down to this. The final pick. Make it count. Also, this message goes out to the viewers. Make sure to comment who has the better roster at the end of the video. Joe, I was waiting to see how long you would forget to pick the man, the myth, the legend. Ladies and gentlemen, I select the tribal chief himself. Mr. 1000 Days, I pick Roman Reigns. I didn't pick him on purpose because he's a trash champion who is only champion because 90% of his wins come thanks to his family. That's why I picked Jimmy and Jay because they are better than Roman Reigns. Anyways, my last pick is a WWE Hall of Famer. I select Donald Trump. Oh, no, he didn't. The ball's on this man. Props. But my roster is way superior to yours, but there is only one way to find out. And that's to flip a coin. All right, I'm going to be choosing Tails because Tails never... No, you dingbat. The great people watching this video on the Nick Sick Network will decide in the comments below. Oh, yeah, I guess that works, too. It's the only sickness you want, the Nick Click Network. Joe, did you just say the Nick Click Network? Joe, it's the Nick Sick Network. Now you messed up the intro. Now we got to start over. Come on, Joe, get it together. Sorry, Dad. It's the only sickness you want, the Nick Sick Network. Welcome back to the channel, and today we are going to be debating the greatest WWE superstar of all time. And right out of the gate, I'm going to say that it's not Steve Austin. I 100% agree with you, Donald, but I'm going to say that it's not Roman Reigns. Come on, man, you have to acknowledge your tribal chief. Yeah, I do every morning, but Roman ain't even on the Mount Rushmore. Lincoln is on the Mount Rushmore. Joe, are you even paying attention? Do you know what WWE even is? Who's the greatest of all time, Joe? Oh, man, I got to say Michael Jordan. Joe, you got to be kidding me. We're not talking about basketball. And if we were talking about basketball, I would run circles around you. Anyways, I honestly think the debate comes down to Hulk Hogan, John Cena, or The Rock. I think we dump Hogan. He could only do only two moves. Yeah, you may be right, but WWE would be nothing without him, brother. Wait, since when are you two brothers? Anyways, my vote is for The Rock, since my kids loved watching him in Monsters University. Joe, he's not even in that movie. My vote, however, has to be for John Cena. He won the heavyweight title 16 times. Wait, didn't Ric Flair win it 16 times? True, but that was in other promotions that no one knows or cares about. Okay, but what about CM Punk? He's the best in the world. Joe, how are you suddenly paying attention and know you can't pick Punk or the comments will at us? The best Punk could do is put you to sleep, Joe, literally. Guys, 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 we're forgetting the GOAT. We're forgetting The Undertaker. This man went 21-0 and 0 at WrestleMania until Brock showed up and ruined everything like he always does. Brock is a solid top 10, but he ain't number one. Yeah, but you have a point. Undertaker could be our winner. What do you think, Joe? Who's the Undertaker? Joe, how do you not know the Undertaker? What about Andre the Giant? I met him back in the day, such an awesome dude. I loved when he would run to the ring and shake the ropes. Joe, what the f Anyways, my vote is John Cena. Barack, do you still pick Undertaker? Yep, rest in peace. Who died? Joe, just pick one. Pick either Undertaker or John Cena. Who's the greatest WWE superstar of all time? What about Heath Slater? Joe, quit Googling wrestler names. Barack, just flip a coin. Heads in Cena and Tails is Taker. It's Tails. Undertaker wins and is the greatest of all time. What? No, rigged. It definitely landed on heads. Here, let me flip a coin instead. All right, here we go. Damn it, it's Tails. Taker wins. Let's go. Where are we going? It's the only sickness you want, the Nick, the Nick sick. sick Network. Joe, really? You had to interrupt me? Sorry, Dad. I just had to fix my mistake from last time. It's okay. Anyways, folks, today we are going to be making our predictions for WrestleMania. Ah, uh, yes. WrestleMania is going Hollywood this year, so it's going to be cinema. Today we will only be covering five matches because there's a lot, and I have a date with Michelle soon. All right, I'm ready to get started. First, we will be starting with Logan Paul taking on Seth freaking Rollins. I'm going to be picking Seth because I love his style. I will also be picking Seth. He's just so good right now. What about you, Donald? 
Donald? Oh, hold on. He just messaged me. He'll be hopping online shortly. Okay, well, let's move on. I got dinner waiting. All right, now let's do Rey Mysterio versus his pain of a son, Dominic. Honestly, Dom deserves the beating Rey is going to deliver. Yeah, I also agree. Dominic is going to get his butt whooped so hard he will think Finn is Damien, and Damien is Finn. However, I will be picking Dominic, as this will be a passing of the torch moment. Okay, where the heck is Donald? Hold on, Barack. He just texted me again. His Discord app won't open up. Oh, my God. Joe, tell him just to update the app. Okay. Now let's discuss Brock Lesnar versus Omas. I think it's pronounced Omus. Joe, shut up anyways. I'm going to go with Brock, because I think it will be like Hogan versus Andre, with Brock slamming Omas. Wait, you're in this match? No, it's Brock Lesnar, not me. Oh, my bad. Um, I got to go with Omos. He's going to ragdoll Brock. Sorry, guys. I'm here. I was waiting for my pickup order at McDonald's. Of course you were at McDonald's. Hey, come on. There was two for three deal on McNuggets. Damn, that sounds good. Guys, focus. Michelle's going to be upset if I'm not ready. Let's pick the winner of Charlotte versus Rhea Ripley. I'm going to have to pick Charlotte. Wait, you guys started without me? Yeah, we ain't going to wait for you, Ronald McDonald self. Haha, <laughs> get it? His name is Donald, and you said Ronald McDonald. Joe, shut up and pick a winner. I pick Charlotte because I like to woo. Joe, that was the most cringe thing you've ever done. I'm provoking your WWE fan card. Donald, no, please, no. Okay, moving on. Donald, you didn't even pick a winner. Whoops. I'll go with Rhea Ripley because Charlotte ain't on the same level. Judgment Day for life. Hey, can we do the Dominic match next? We did that one already. Just eat your nuggets. Okay, let's do the main event. I know this one will stir up some controversy. Yeah, it's going to be Roman Reigns, game, set, match. What? It's clearly going to be Cody. He's got to finish the damn story. Oh, come on! What, Donald? They forgot my ranch and barbecue sauce packets. Don't you hate when that happens? That happened to me the other day at Taco Bell. I ordered a chalupa without lettuce because Joe? screw lettuce. Anyways, they forgot my mild sauce. Joe, shut up. No one cares. Trump, who are you picking, Roman or Cody, in the main event of WrestleMania goes Hollywood for the undisputed WWE Universal Championship? Will Roman continue his historic title run and make it to 1,000 days as champ? Or will Cody fulfill his legacy? Nice job selling that match, Barack. I gotta go back to McDonald's to get my sauce packets. See you guys later. He didn't even... Bye, Donald. Okay, this was a train wreck. Joe, talk to you later. Michelle's waiting in the car. Well, this is awkward. Hey, if you made to the end of the video, y'all, I'm gonna need y'all to comment fish sticks. I made it a smackdown. Oh boy, here we go. This isn't how it's supposed to happen. I can't believe Jay is falling for this. He's really going to turn on his own brother. That isn't true at all, Jay. Kick him in the face. Jay, Jimmy is nothing but dead weight. So guess what? Oh no. You out. Oh, come on. Are you serious, Jay? That a boy, Jay, kick him to the curb. It's sad to see it go down like this. Sad indeed. And I'm out too. Wait, what? Oh, oh my, my God, God. Yes. yes, yes, yes. That a boy, Jay. Thank the Lord. Jay, why would you kick the hand that feeds you? Roman freaking deserves this shut up, Donald. You knock him out, boys. That's how we do it. The bloodline is done as we know it. I love it. This is bad booking. I'm going to Twitter to vent. You don't even have Twitter anymore, dummy. We the ones, baby. Cinematic. So when does The Rock come back? What can he do? What does he have the strength left to do? Oh boy, here we go. Tombstone pile driver. No one kicks out. It's over, it's over. The cover on Lester. Lester kicked out at two. Okay, how in the hell? He kicked out? I mean, it is Brock Lesnar, and it's the first tombstone of the match. Yeah, but it's the tombstone. No one kicks out. Tombstone pile driver. Brock Lesnar kicks out. Undertaker. Well, he's not going to kick out of it again. He just might. I mean, I could kick out of two tombstones. Two incredible athletes fighting for. Shut up, Donald. You couldn't survive one clothesline. Again. Here we go. Finish him take. Right, Brock Lesnar counter. Brock Lesnar oh no, oh no. Brock Lesnar counter. He 
He's got him up. Well, come on, Taker, get out of this. It's okay, he's going to kick out. The streak is going to live. Any moment now. What just happened? I knew Brock would win. Donald, you're lying. No one saw this coming or wanted it to happen. 21 and 1. I'm at a loss for words. Ladies and gentlemen, it's trivia time. Today, Joe Biden and Donald Trump will be putting their WWE knowledge to the test. I will be asking trivia questions. They will be taking turns. If someone guesses incorrectly, the other will have a chance to steal the points. The first player to five points will win the game. Boys, are you ready? This is my game to win, Donald, so prepare to accept defeat. I'll talk, Joe. That's all you are. All right, Joe, you will be getting the first question. These will start kind of easy and get harder. All right, question one. Who is the current WWE Universal Champion? Roman Reigns, unfortunately. That is correct. All right, Donald, you're up. Who won the 2023 Women's Royal Rumble match? Who is Rhea Ripley? Thanks for the Jeopardy-like answer, but that is correct. Tie game, boys. Joe, your next question is, what was the main event of SummerSlam 2021? Easy light work. It was Roman Reigns against Brock Lesnar. That is incorrect, Donald. Your chance to steal. The answer is Roman Reigns versus John Cena. Give me them points. Oh, come on. I thought you said 2022. Pay attention next time, nerd. Okay, Donald, it's your turn. Who are the members of The Shield? Roman Reigns, Seth Rollins, and Dean Ambrose. Bro, why are he getting the softball questions? He already got three points. Donald, that is correct. And Joe, maybe you shouldn't screw up on an easy question, but don't worry, the game isn't over. Joe, here's your next question. Who did Austin Theory defeat to win his current U.S. title? That would be Bobby Lashley and Seth freaking Rollins at Survivor Series 2022. All right, good job. The score is 3-2 to two with Donald in the lead. Donald, you could score your fourth point here, but be careful as the difficulty has risen. Who was the second ever Divas champion? You can't stump me, Barack. The answer is Mickey James. I'm sorry, but I've stumped Trump. Joe, your chance to steal. Oh, I got this. I know the Divas title history by heart. The second champ was Ma Reese. Tie game, Donald. Suck it. Of course, you know the Divas title history by heart, Joe. What's your favorite match? Well, it's Brie Bella versus... You know what? Don't start with me, Donald. You know I was part of the Bella Army. Barack, continue the game. I was more of a Nikki Bella guy, but anyways, Joe, here's the next question. Who was the fifth entrant in the 1999 Royal Rumble match? What kind of question is this, Barack? I don't know. Let's go with Christian. Joe doesn't know because he can't even remember what he had for breakfast. That's not true. I had a bowl of cereal. What kind of cereal? Um, I think it was, shoot. Exactly my point. Speaking of points, I'm about to score a point because the answer to the question is none other than Edge. That is correct, Donald. Impressive. Oh, you got to be kidding me, I guess, Christian. They're literally the same person. They're literally not the same person anyways. Donald, this question coming up is for the final point and a chance to win the game. But first, this message goes out to all the viewers. We here at the Nick Sick Network love you. Especially me. I love you all so much. Okay, Joe, don't make it weird, all right? The final question to win the game. Who was the referee for The Miz versus Shane McMahon at WrestleMania 35? Ha <laughs> ha, good luck with this one, Donald. Charles Robinson. LOL, he guessed the first referee he could think of. All right, it's my chance to steal, my answer to tie the game. Donald, that is correct. Congrats, you have won the game. What, you gotta be joking me. Let's freaking go. Now it's time for my victory speech. I would like to thank all my fans. I would like to thank my friends and family. I knew I had this game in the bag. My smarts are too powerful. As for you, Joe, suck it, fam. Barack, were you texting him the answers? There's no way he got that right. Screw this game, I'm going to McDonald's. Oh, Joe, can I come? The champion of WWE trivia is digging a fillet of fish. Hope you boys enjoy your meal. Congrats again, Donald. And as for you, Joe, suck it, fam. All right, boys, let's address the elephant in the room. Wait, there's an elephant in the room. Uh, shouldn't we call animal control? Joe, are you dumb? How would there be an elephant in the room? We're in your tiny ass house. Hey, don't make fun of my house. Michelle worked really hard on decorating this place. Joe, Michelle is my wife. Anyways, Barack, what's the elephant in the room? Sorry, I mean the quote-unquote elephant in the room, like the topic that needs to be discussed. CM Punk, is he coming back to WWE? Who's CM Punk? Joe, did you forget to take your memory meds? CM Punk is one of the most prolific and influential WWE champions of all time, according to his WWE.com profile. Oh, you mean Cookie Monster Punk. Oh, I was a huge fan of his and loved his match against... We can go down memory lane another time, but boys, Survivor Series is in Chicago. 
CM Punk left AEW, and the rumors and all the subtle references are driving me and the wrestling community wild. This would shake the wrestling world to its core. Oh, it definitely would. I think it's happening just because of how big it would be, and imagine the storylines and matches that would cook. Yes, I do think it's happening despite what the everyday changing quote-unquote news websites and journalists say. They are so wishy-washy with their reports. And honestly, I think if this is happening, they've known for a while and wouldn't still be figuring it out. Absolutely. CM Punk is coming back to WWE, and us in the Trump Mansion Plaza are ready, and we'll be snacking on McDonald's and Burger King all night long on November 25th. And it will be an explosion of noise when Cult of Personality hits. That song is a banger. But guys, we have to address the true elephant in the room. What if CM Punk isn't returning? Not with that attitude. It's time for CM Punk to come home. And all will be right. WWE is on fire, and this will only add to the flame. Oh, don't get me wrong, I missed his tactics of making the lights go out and setting things on fire, and especially when he would hit that signature tombstone pile driver and pin his opponents by crossing their arms and sticking his tongue out with his eyes rolled back. Man, what a legend. Joe, you can't be serious. Donald, I'm afraid he's serious. Seriously dumb, that's what. Why all the hate, guys? I'm just contributing to the discussion. Because we're not talking about the fucking Undertaker. We're not? Barack, can I hit him? No, Donald. No, Donald. But now let's discuss possible feuds and fantasy book scenarios. I think CM Punk starting a program with Seth Rollins is dollar dollar ching ching. Punk confronting Rollins after war games would be a moment. Yeah, a feud between them would bring constant good content and entertainment. My seatbelt is on. I can't wait for the ride. Wait, what about Roman Reigns against CM Punk? Well, that would definitely cook down the road, but not at Survivor Series, because unfortunately, our tribal chief is taking another vacation. Fuck Roman Reigns, and I can't wait for Cody to finish the damn story and kick the head of the table off the table and off the island of relevancy. I mean, honestly, but I think Rock is coming for that tribal chief spot. Or even Solo. Solo literally murdered Cena at Crown Jewel. Don't disrespect my tribal chief. We the ones, baby. I got my finger to the sky. I walk around with his theme playing anywhere I go. You know whose theme I listen to when I'm in the car? Grayson Waller. Well, yes, that is a slappeth theme, but I've recently been listening to this fire burns. Oh, good choice, Barack. Guys, I'm tired. I'm gonna go take a nap. Isn't this like your fourth one today? But hey, props to you, Joe, sticking with the theme of this topic because it looks like you're gonna go to sleep. I don't get it. Never mind. Joe, just go take your nap. Oh no, Donald! Donald, what are you doing with Joe put him down? It is time for Joe to go to sleep! <laughs> oh! Donald, Nick Six said no physical interactions. It's clobbering time. All right, boys, that was a phenomenal video. Joe, why is this part being recorded? Did you forget to hit record at the beginning of the video? Oh my God, I, my mistake. I guess we got to redo it. You have to be kidding me. Michelle is going to be mad that I'm late for dinner, but we got to do this. Nick Sick is counting on us to finish this video. Okay, let's do this again. And action. Hello, people of YouTube. You are watching a video on the Nick Sick Network. Make sure to share this video with your one friend you have, because that's all you have. Today, me and the boys are going to be booking SummerSlam 2023. We will all be getting two matches to book, then you, the people of America, will rate the match card. Okay, here's my first match. I, Joe Biden, will be making a match between Roman Reigns and Brock Lesnar for the Universal title. Joe, why? Why? We saw that match last year and the feud is over. If I'm not mistaken, we get to book any match we want with the current roster, so don't complain about the first match. I suggest you turd. Yeah, Barack, don't be a turd. Anyways, it's my turn. And the first match I'm making for the biggest party of the summer besides my rally in Times Square, my match is John Cena squaring off against Roman Reigns for the Universal title. Hey, Roman Reigns is already booked. Do you think I give a flying hamburger that he's already booked? It's not that unique to be booked twice of a match card, especially when you're the tribal cheese. This man said cheese. Okay, fine. But it's my turn. It's time to include the women. I'm booking Bianca Belair versus Rhea Ripley in a Falls Count Anywhere match. 
Solid choice, but we need more spice. That's why I'm booking a 40-man Royal Rumble match featuring Cody Rhodes, Seth Rollins, Bray Wyatt, Edge, Shinsuke Nakamura, Kofi Kingston, Chad. Joe, this is SummerSlam. It's not the Royal Rumble. Barack, could you stop complaining? We can book whatever we want. This isn't real. I'm sorry. I'm just on edge because I know Michelle is going to be furious. Oh, my God. Just order her some DoorDash and say you got in a car crash. You know what? You're right, buddy. I'll order her some of her favorite food. I'll order her a six-inch sub with... Wait, what was that second part you said? All right, the next match on our epic SummerSlam will be a triple threat tag team, Elimination Ladder, Inferno Cage, two out of three falls, last man standing, I quit tables match between Jinder Mahal and Drew McIntyre. Okay, what the heck is that? It's amazing is what that is. Honestly, that should be the main event. This match card is ridiculous. None of it makes sense. That's the point, you brick. Now book the final match. L-O-L, he called him a brick. Donald, it is a cylinder brick or a foam brick like from a trampoline park. Joe, I just gave you your fun card back. Zip those lips, please. And Barack, loosen up, will you? Book whatever you want. Kick your shoes off. Mess up your remaining hair. And book the most epic match ever. And go. But I don't know how to... Just book book the the match. match. Okay, you know what? I got it. Roman Reigns versus Roman Reigns in a Roman Reigns match for the Roman Reigns title. That was absolutely beautiful. Good job, buddy. This video is so random. What are viewers going to take away from it? I honestly don't know. Hamburgers? The memes, guys. The memes. Oh, no. Michelle's calling. What should I tell her? Guys. Guys.